गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन वेलकम टू एम बी ए करो सो द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम विच इज गोइंग टू हेल्ड इज माई कैट एंड सम ऑफ यू मस्ट बी अपेयरिंग ऑन द एग्जामिनेशन नाउ दिस एग्जामिनेशन लाइक द वंस हु हैव नॉट अपेयर ऑन इट दे वॉन्ट नो इट बट द वंस हु अपेयर दे नो दैट दिस इज द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट एम बी एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन द वंस हु अपेयर ऑन माई कैट वन मस्ट हैव रियलाइज इट or if you appeared last year you must have noticed that this is way more difficult than the other exams right like if you talk about cat zat they are nothing in front of my cat because of very lengthy paper especially the aptitude part okay and uh, it is a very diverse exam it has a psychometric test which is not so difficult though. then you have descriptive writing and then you have this aptitude test wherein they ask uh, 70 questions in 80 minutes and the level of questions is at par with examinations like zat okay so uh, like if you consider zat zat gives you 175 minutes for those uh, 75 questions but here you have just 80 minutes and the kind of questions is very lengthy now uh, out of these 70 questions the easiest to tackle is general knowledge because either you know or you do not know the answers okay uh and if you seen the pattern i mean uh, since may, you may not have uh, experienced this most of the questions in general knowledge are related to businesses okay so uh, like uh, business awareness is what they test in current affairs also uh, they do ask questions on business awareness so it could be about logos okay it could be about ceos of companies or some new products okay you might have to uh, product launch by the company okay or uh, maybe uh, like tag lines and a uh, lot of things related to brands of the companies so today we are going to cover in this quiz we are going to cover basically current affairs related to businesses which of uh, were of the past 4 5 months and might be helpful to you okay so uh, let's start this and if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to this channel where you get the best content for all mb entrance examinations and uh, as we promised earlier we have launched a free mock okay and uh, 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 like if you wish to appear on it to get an idea how the my cat paper looks like okay you can take this mock test the link is given in the description of this video okay and uh, you can appear on it so it contains the aptitude part uh, and it will give you an idea that what kind of questions you can expect in the examination okay so uh, let's see that how good you are at current affairs which indian whiskey was awarded number 1 in the whiskies of the world awards अमृत कामेत जियांचन और इंद्री नाउ दीज करंट अफेयर्स माइट हेल्प यू इन अदर एग्जाम्स आल्सो मे बी लाइक सी मैट वेयर दे आस्क सच क्वेश्चंस ओके क्योंकि दिस इज रिलेटेड टू सम बिजनेसेस एंड अवार्ड्स माइट बी आस्क्ड ओके यू नो द आंसर यस इट इज इंद्री ओके सो इट वाज awarded this and then it was a news right especially uh, if people are uh, alcohol lovers they must uh, uh, definitely have heard of this thing it was quite a news that uh, indian whiskey indri was awarded number 1 reliance retail recently bought the south asian ip assets of which of these brands so mergers and acquisitions Reliance is known for uh, acquiring a lot of companies, and recently they acquired one of these, uh, the South Asian intellectual property assets. IP here refers to intellectual property. So Reliance has got the right to sell these products under their name.
Any guess, Mark and Spencer, the North Face Super Dry, Ralph Lauren. You can make a guess if you do not know the answer, that's fine. Okay, the right answer is Super Dry. Okay, so it's a UK based company and uh, the South Asian branch has been acquired by Reliance recently. The Eras Tour is the ongoing concert tour by which of the following singers? Maybe, like, you should, if you have interest in music, then maybe you would be knowing. So apart from business awareness, they ask questions on awards and honors. Okay. And a uh, few other uh, things like sports and all also they ask. Heard of this ERAS tour? So it's a it's a tour by Taylor Swift, which is ongoing. It started uh, in 23 and will go on till December 2024. Uh, she'll be touring multiple countries across different continents. Okay, and Taylor Swift was also awarded as the Time Person of the Year 2023. Okay, if they ask this question, who was Times Person of the Year 2023? No, no, not Dua Lipa, it is Taylor Swift. Sorry. Ambarish Murthy, the co-founder and CEO of Dash company died in Leh after a sudden cardiac arrest. So this was in news that a famous startup founder, Achha, they ask questions on startup founders also. Okay. And uh, uh, last year, I remember they had asked a question on, that was a match the following. They had asked about these uh, founders of basically shark tank. So you had to match the founders with the companies like they had asked Aman Gupta, Okay, they had asked Vinita Singh to match Karana. The last year I remember the question. So they do ask about startup founders. They do ask about CEOs. Okay, and uh, uh, these sort of questions, which are uh, generally in news. So uh, Amrish Murthy was a co founder of Pepper Fry, he was from IM Calcutta. Okay, so he had uh, went to Leo on a trip and uh, unfortunately he met with some, uh, with a cardiac arrest and died. Okay, so you must have heard of this company, Pepper Fry. Heard of it? So, Micah is known for testing you on uh, these things, brands and all. Okay, so Pepper Fry is uh, basically for furniture and all. Okay, you do get uh, furniture items from this. It's a famous uh, online uh, brand for furniture. Who is the director of Barbie? The first female director to hit 1 billion at global box office. Okay, directors to is maybe even in uh, Zad, they are the director of uh, Oppenheimer. Okay, who is the director of Barbie? Now, there were two famous movies last year. One was Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer, you know, you Zad me push liya tha unne. Oppenheimer, Christopher Nolan, who was the director of Barbie, or uh, at least uh, I expect the female audience uh, 
they must have watched this movie it it was a big movie and it was in news right so you should know these things uh, like uh, that's how they in zat also they asked about this so maybe in some other examinations they might ask about these uh, and especially the thing is a record being created right first female director to hit 1 billion at global bo box office so right answer is greta gerwig okay yes you got it right okay match the following so uh, here in this in this exam you will find a lot of match the following okay although uh, maybe i can take another session wherein we can do such kind of problems so the strategy ke wherein they can, you can have a lot of match the following okay so you have to match these four brands with the uh, the owners with these brands so i have taken this because one of uh, these was recently launched a couple of these brands were recently launched like uh, this yusta and intune were launched recently okay so your a for uh, see reliance see tata group zudio own karta hai okay so lot of people must be aware of this ki tata group ka zudio hai so you can eliminate these two options okay and then you have uh, this thing reliance launched this thing called yusta okay so a is third shopper stop launched in tune ye recently uh, launch hue zudio was uh, like i think last year thoda pehle launch ho gaya tha theek hai zudio is of tata theek hai reliance launched yusta shopper stop launched in tune uh, i think yusta was launched in around august september time and uh, in tune bhi june july ke aas pass aaya tha and aditya birla group has stake in forever 21 india Okay, so that is the correct match. Great. Which of the following cars is the rebadged version of Maruti Suzuki Ertiga? You know what are rebadged cars? any idea about a revenge revenge cars so rebadged basically means that uh, like there are deals within companies right so kya hota hai ki like uh, if you have a car so you have a different make of a car theek hai maan lo let's say uh, i am tata i produce a car okay i am maruti i produce a car now you must have seen that there are certain cars which look similar of different brands isn't it so basically they do, do partnership with the other cars so they change the brand okay they change the brand name 
ठीक है एंड दे बेसिकली लॉन्च दैट कार अगेन बिकॉज दे डू नॉट टू वर्क ऑन द इंटीरियर लाइक कंस्ट्रक्शन पार्ट ओके हाँ सो दे विल सेल द सेम सेम कार विद अ डिफरेंट ब्रांड नेम and that saves cost for the company okay so you do not have to do r and d you do not have to design the car again so the car is similar almost similar maybe they might do slight modification of course the branding and all but otherwise the interior structure and all would be almost similar so you can say at least 90% uh, they are similar so maruti suzuki artica it is the repaired version is rumion okay हाँ ग्लैंजा का शायद बलेनो है इनविक्टो का है लेकिन सबके अर्टिका का तो रूमियन है एंड ग्लैंजा का और इनविक्टो का है ये हाई क्रॉस एंड और इसका शायद ग्रैंड वेट आ रहा है सो दीज आर ऑल रीप्रेस्ड कार्स बेसिकली दे लुक सिमिलर ओके एंड दे हैव अ पार्टनरशिप सो स्पेशली दीज टू कंपनीज मारुति एंड टोयोटा हैव अ पार्टनरशिप ओके एंड देन दे सेल दीज कार्स So I hope you are enjoying this session. So don't forget to like this video. Let's look at the next question. RBI has launched a centralized web portal for unclaimed deposits across banks. What is it called? This time there was a question on uh, banking as well. unclaimed deposit portal utpatti okay so it is actually udgam theek hai udgam hai unclaimed deposits fir uske baad dash gateway to access information ka name le liya so this name is called udgam okay unclaimed deposits a gateway to access information usb Type C charging was introduced in which version of the iPhone? Now expect ये तो लोगों को आंसर आता होगा. Do you watch those iPhone launches? आईफोन के जो लॉन्च सेशन होता है पीपल वंस दे लॉन्च इट एंड दे रश टू बाय दैट आईफोन ओके ये इट इज एन आईफोन फिफ्टीन ठीक है जो लेटेस्ट आईफोन आया है दिस वॉज द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम दे इंट्रोड्यूस यू एस बी टाइप सी चार्जिंग ओके सो दिस इज द आंसर नेटफ्लिक्स विल ओपन अ ब्रिक इन मोटा रिटेल चेन वेयर दे वुड बी सेलिंग मर्चेंडाइज रिलेटेड टू नेटफ्लिक्स शोज हैव यूनिकली क्यूरेटेड फूड एंड ड्रिंक्स एज वेल एज गेम्स what will be these outlets called
so they will have an offline outlet uh, where a brick and mortar outlet wherein people can buy and then buy merchandise what will be this called so they are going to uh, Netflix world, no, this is Netflix house. Okay, 2025 will launch in US and they have planned it, they have named it that uh, uh, they will make these houses wherein people can uh, purchase these merchandise, etc. Okay, they can, like these, these are kind of theme parks that they will launch. Which company launched Extreme, a quick parcel delivery service for merchants? Brick and mortar retail. So basically, see, Netflix is an online firm, right? So they will have some, uh, like just a Disney world, they will have uh, a place which will be called Netflix house. So they will have some uh, like uh, famous uh, characters being created, right? So pe people can go and enjoy their, okay, that will be a theme park sort of thing. Extreme is by Zomato. So Zomato Extreme, it's a parcel delivery service. So they've ventured into the logistics business. And this is the, the business name they have started by the name Extreme. This is an easy one. Like in case uh, you do uh, investment and all, you should be knowing this. which is the recently launched IP of Tata Group. So people who invested uh, in this, they got very huge returns. Like 500 ka share tha, or uh, it is still going around 1200. Even I got, I was fortunate to get one lot, just one lot though. So it was of Tata Technologies. That was the most recent IPO and uh, it gave very good returns. Where was the first of its kind e-gaming event streamed offline in India? And for which game it was? Yes, it was for BGMI. Okay, kaha hua tha? It was in Mumbai. Okay, Sardar Patel Stadium. Hai. So, BGMI India ka jo final hua tha. I don't know if you watched this or uh, like are interested in gaming and all. So, it was the first event that happened in such event that happened in India. Okay, a live uh, game being streamed at a offline center. And uh, Neeraj Chopla was uh, invited to award the winners.
Who is the biggest investor in WeWork, the once storied startup that has filed for bankruptcy protection? So this company was in news. WeWork. Okay, once it was uh, like a very successful firm, especially after the COVID, because of the co-working space. Um, but now it is in bad condition and it had to file for bankruptcy protection. So who was the biggest investor in this company? Yes, SoftBank is the right answer. Okay, SoftBank invests in a lot of companies. I mean, these are all major investors of the world. So as I said that we have launched a free mock for MyCat 2. Uh, the link is given in the description of this video. You can try this and uh, it will give you some practice that how, how the paper looks like, uh, <clears throat> the MyCat paper. So it has the aptitude section. Okay, only the aptitude. After acquiring Vistron's operations in India for $125 million, which group has become the first Indian to manufacture Apple iPhones? So Vistron's uh, is a company that uh, is basically, uh, it is uh, like a Taiwan company, or you can call it Chinese company that manufactures uh, like iPhone ke parts kuch banati ho. Here XGMT, I have no idea. I will be uh, seeing the exam this time and then, then probably next year I could tell that what exactly comes in XGMT. So, uh, Vistron operation, uh, who acquired, like, ye news mein aapko, agar Winston, aapko company nahi batao, you must have heard that Tata will be making iPhones. Like, I, uh, not uh, uh, basically exactly making the iPhones, but yes, they have acquired this Vistron's operations in India, which is responsible for making iPhones. Okay. All right. So, let's move to the next question. Which Indian origin business group has acquired the old war office in London for $1.3 billion? So old war office is basically an office which was used uh, during the second world war. Uh, and uh, it was the office of what is called uh, Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill, Mape, uh, like they used to make strategies and all. So it's an office in London which has been acquired and now it will be converted into a hotel. Heard of it? The not Obrai group, it is Hinduja group. Okay, so uh, they will be developing a hotel there. So something for pride for India. This must be an easy one. Uh, which company was the only authorized marketer of the Indian jerseys in the World Cup matches? So during the uh, ODI World Cup, you must have seen that people were wearing jerseys. The spectators wearing jerseys. So, like uh, earlier what used to happen was, like generally these companies sell jerseys at a very high price, right? Maybe uh, 3,000, 4,000 and all. 
okay so common men do not buy they they used to buy from uh, like road side vendors who would sell for 2 300 rupees the quality would be inferior of course you based on a stadium ke bahar so this time they came up with a strategy that they will sell for just 999 so that a common person will also uh, can afford and get this premium jersey so it was by adidas it was the uh, authorized marketer so they were the ones selling these jerseys what purchase take has sajjan jindal's jsw group acquired in the car company mg motor india so you must have heard of this morris garages so british brand morris garages mg actor aati na uski aur bhi gaadi aati hai there are not many too many uh, uh cars but yeah mg hector is the most famous of these so uh, jsw group sajjan jindal ka hai jindal steel uh, jiske delhi uh, day devils ke uh, delhi day devils shay do log hoge gmr and jsw so they have acquired 35% stake in mg motors okay so it is uh, an acquisition recent acquisition doms industries which recently went for ipo is a market leader in which sector so recently there were a lot of uh, uh, ipos one of these companies was doms so doms industries is in which sector defense nutrition renewable energy or stationary products it's a it's a market uh, leader in stationary products okay to is bar kaafi flare ho gaya doms ho gaya aur ye sab ye sare stationary companies pe ipo mein aayi thi Okay, so uh, under what brand is Coca-Cola India launching its first alcoholic beverage in India? So they started this in uh, uh, Goa and Maharashtra as a pilot project, and if it is successful, then uh, it will be sold across the country. So if Coca-Cola ventures into alcohol business, they will uh, eat up the market because of their very strong supply chain. कोकोकोला हर जगह प्रेजेंट है सो दे हैव वेरी गुड सप्लाई चेन दे हैव वेरी गुड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नेटवर्क ओके सो इफ दे वेंचर इनटू अल्कोहल बिजनेस विद कॉम्पिटिटिव प्राइसेस दे कैन गेट अ सिग्निफिकेंट स्टेक इन इट सो दे लॉन्च्ड फर्स्ट अल्कोहलिक बेवरेज व्हिच ऑफ दीस इज द नेम्स सो इट्स अ कॉकलेन ड्रिंक Okay, you heard of it? Yes, the right answer is lemon do. And they have launched this in two states, Goa and Maharashtra, as a pilot run, and uh, probably they will expand to other regions soon. Which Indian company has started working on the world's first CNG powered motorcycle? World's first CNG powered motorcycle. CNG की four wheelers तो होते ही हैं. Bike अभी तक आपने नहीं सुनी होगी. So an Indian company is working on it, and by 2025 they are expected to launch this. the right answer is bajaj auto ye tata motors to option hi nahi hai 
और वैसे भी टाटा टू व्हीलर्स बनाता गया टाटा मिक्स फोर व्हीलर्स बनी फोर व्हीलर्स और ट्रक्स ठीक है सो इट इज बजाज ऑटो सो दे आर वर्किंग ऑन इट एंड एक्सपेक्ट दैट बाय 2025 दे विल लॉन्च इट हु रिपोर्टेडली इन्वेस्टेड डॉलर 42 मिलियन टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ क्लॉक दैट वुड लास्ट फॉर 10000 इयर्स क्रेजी इन्वेस्टमेंट just to create a clock that lasts for 10000 years can you imagine a clock it's a mechanical clock and one of these persons is investing on its r&d so the right answer is jeff bezos amazon founder he is invested Forty two million to construct such a clock. Who is the chairperson of the Competition Commission of India? so it is a regulatory government regulatory body so it is a uh, slightly old matlab us ka kuch mai pehle ki baat hogi she was appointed as a like female head so the right answer is ravneet kaur So I hope you are enjoying this session. So please don't forget to like this video. The recently launched Share Dot Market is a wealth and investment platform of which of these companies? Government schemes, uh, MB exam, no, usually नहीं आती. If it was uh, like uh, last year जो था Testnet था उसमें आती थी. Now Testnet is no more so. so share dot market is by phone pay okay so it is a wealth and investment platform like you have the zero the and all so uh, phone pay has launched such a platform where you can so stock brokerage platform now awards and honors uh, are asked and uh, which of the who among the following won the raman maxese award for his revolutionizing cancer treatment in assam so it was r ravi kannan the okay, maxes award is given by the philippines government and uh, 
like Ravi Kannan, he is an oncologist. He won it for <coughs> this time. What is the new brand identity of Tata for its electric vehicle business? Under what brand do they sell this? So they call it Tata.ev. ठीक है फिर वो कार वाइज उन्होंने बना रखा है हर कार के लिए डॉट ईवी डॉट ईवी ठीक है सो दैट इज टाटा डॉट ईवी दैट इज द ब्रांड अंडर विच दे सेल दीज इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स विच कंपनी वाज द ऑफिशियल स्पॉन्सर ऑफ द इंडियन कंटिजेंट एट द हांगजो एशियन गेम्स So the official sponsor of the jersey was Amul. Okay, so Asian Games were there. Hangzhou. Me. This question Zat me puja tha. Asian Games kaha were there? Okay, they did ask. So the sponsor was Amul. <coughs> Which airline signed an agreement with SpaceX to make Starlink Wi-Fi available to every passenger in the sky at no cost? So Sky Starlink is a Wi-Fi by uh, SpaceX. So it's a satellite-based internet uh, which uh, is available in the sky. And Qatar Airways signed an agreement and they will be offering it for free. <clears throat> Which state became the first state in India to have hallmarking centers in all its districts? So hallmarking center is basically associated with gold. Okay, and uh, at these centers you can, uh, like if you go to, you want to test the purity of gold, these are the centers where one can test it. So there is only one uh, state in India which has hallmarking centers in all its districts. This question I had taken for ZAT as well when we were doing that ZAT revision. The right answer is Kerala. <clears throat> Which of these brands has been renamed as Orkla India?
to one of these companies their brand name has been changed to Oracle India which of these companies is it so it is MTR foods you must have heard of MTR MTR kya aata na kuch kuch mitab aise uh, that's ready to made food okay, they have this uh, poha and uh, a lot of other stuff like uh, sambar and all those stuff. you you must have uh, like heard of this so now it has been rebranded as orkla india because it is its parent <coughs> parent company i don't recall which country is it from so uh, this is the parent company which had acquired MTR Foods. So now they have changed the name to Oracle India. I hope you are enjoying this session. So please don't forget to like this video. And uh, based on students' demand, we have uh, launched one free mock test for MyCat, which you can take and uh, practice for the examination, which will be quite relevant uh, to the exam. Okay, you'll get a feel that what kind of questions you can expect, like art art options, wale questions, hai, uh, like divergent and convergent thinking, what different variety of questions you get. So uh, even in quant, you have those uh, lengthy questions, etc. Which city in India received the prestigious title of City of Music by UNESCO? So this was given to Gwalior. So they like there was one, uh, there were two titles. One was City of Music. It was given to Gwalior, and there was City of Literature. That was given to Cozy Cold. What is the name of the world's first robot CEO? Even during that, I had taken this question. So uh, there is a Polish company whose name is Dictador. So it's a uh, like alcohol company, and uh, they appointed the first ever CEO robot. Okay, the right answer is Mika, not Mika. Who won the 2023 International Emmy Awards for Best Comedy Series?
Emmy Awards for Best Comedy Series. So it was Veer Das. Goss is a chat GPT like generative AI model developed by which of these companies? So now there are a lot of companies that are coming up with it. AI models. So Goss is one of them which was recently launched. So maybe you might get a uh, like match the following like this also. He uh, Goss is by whom? Okay. Uh, or uh, ek, uh, Google ne nikala bhi Gemini AI. That is by Google. So I suppose that you match the following as well. Chat GPT, you know, is of uh, open AI. Okay, so I say you might get since it's a trending topic, you might get a match the following also. So Goss AI is by Samsung. So each of these big companies they are working on these uh, uh, AI development. The Hump World War II Museum was recently inaugurated in which state? Ha, Amazon has Olympus. So Hump World War II Museum. This question I had taken for Zat also. So Hump, basically what happened was uh, like... Uh, during the World War II, the US was supporting China because uh, Japan was fighting against China. US was against Japan, so they were supporting China. So they used to uh, take their planes uh, over India. Okay, and Hump, you know that there is uh, like some sort of elevation at some place, right? That is called Hump, Camel Hump. So in Arunachal Pradesh, you have the Himalayas. Okay, so due to which they had difficulty in taking those and there were a lot of air crashes in that region. Okay, so if you wish to read about it, you can read. So there were a lot of air crashes in that region. So that uh, they called it the hump. So they have uh, created a museum dedicated to this. Times Magazine Person of the Year. Times Magazine, Person of the Year. The right answer is Taylor Swift. Okay, because of uh, that era's tour that we discussed. Foxconn will invest $1.5 billion to expand India operations. It is the world's largest contract manufacturer of electronics based in which country? World's largest is semiconductor company. Semiconductor devices, Manadi. Of course, that is used in all electronic appliances like your phones, laptops, whatever electronic devices you use. They has they have those chipsets. So Foxconn is the world's largest electronics manufacturer company. So which country does it belong? Now they have invested 1.5 billion in to expand in India. 1.5 billion is a big amount. The right answer is Taiwan. Chinese company. Okay, so this was uh, this quiz for GK. 
so in case uh, you know someone who is preparing for cat 2024 uh, you can uh, recommend our courses to them and uh, as i told that we have launched <coughs> a free mock okay which is the link is given in the description of this video you can enroll for free and take it and uh, you will get an experience that uh, how the exam actually is the ones who appeared on uh, my cat one they know ki this exam is uh, way different than the other exams and not only the quant is lengthy in verbal also you have uh, eight options okay is mein number of options alag alag hote hain kisi mein char option hote hain panch option hote hain art bhi hote hain there are a lot of questions especially in verbal you will find eight options even in quant there are some questions they where they give eight options quant mein to khair i don't think that they need eight options because answer aana hota to char pe bhi aa jayega art pe bhi aa jayega but yes uh, they do give such questions and uh, uh, divergent and convergent thinking which is different okay it has weird kind of uh, like in word association different of some reasoning problems are similar okay so uh, we have designed this mock which is uh, like my cat okay so take this mock to give you an idea that how the paper looks like and hopefully you do good on this test uh, if you are interested in marketing then it is uh, one of the best institutes in india when it comes to uh, like branding and all okay so i'll be conducting some more sessions on my cat so stay tuned for more such sessions very soon thank you for attending this class have a great day